Welcome to 3 Ducks Design STEM show, episode number one, Leaping Lizards, Little Birds, and Lots of Levers. Let's start by looking at our materials. If you have a 3 Ducks Design architecture kit, awesome. If not, you'll just need a bunch of cardboard shapes available. In particular, you'll need at least five of the same size cardboard squares for a house. You'll also need to have a way to attach the size of your house, either 3 Ducks connectors, or tape will work for these purposes. You'll also need to make a little bird and lizard cut out of either cardboard or paper. Feel free to color your bird. If you look outside, most birds are colorful. There's only a few types of birds that are all white or all brown, but you're free to do whatever you want. It is your project. You should also have some long skinny strips of cardboard, at least two copper fastener clips, or some machine screws and nuts, and a pointy pencil to make some holes. Additionally, you can add colored paper, crayons, and any other craft supplies or upcycled materials you decide that you'll need on the way. Now let's chat a little bit about levers. A lever is a long stick or a rigid body with a fulcrum somewhere along the length. The fulcrum is the point at which the lever pivots. The load is the thing being lifted. In this picture, the load that's being lifted is the bird. And then there is the force. That's the thing with all the muscles that makes the load move. In this case, the force or the effort is applied by our friend, the lizard. Now let's see a lever in action. You'll notice here that where the fulcrum is placed along the lever has a huge effect on the force's ability to lift a load. Now, I'm not a super strong person, and in my first attempt, the lizard did not really leap. But simply by moving and changing the design of my pivot, well, let's just say I'm happy that that lizard is not real. Watch what happens. Now all this work has made our bird really hungry. So we're gonna design a simple machine with two levers to help the bird access his lunch. Because he's made of cardboard and therefore has no muscles, we have to help him. Using your materials, make the birdhouse and the machine. You can get an idea from this video, but there's about a million ways to do this and you will probably go through somewhere between two and 102 versions before you get it the exact way you want it. Now it's time to gather some craft materials and have a little bit of fun. Using what we learned about the two different ways that we can use levers to help us get stuff done, Ayana and I are going to design and play a fun game. She's gonna try to make that little bird get into our backyard, but I don't want that bird getting eaten by our cat, so I'm gonna try my hardest to keep him out. Let's see what happens.
Now it's your turn to make something cool with levers. And we love to showcase cool projects, so don't forget to share what you've created. Thanks for joining, and feel free to head over to www.3duxdesigns.com for more projects and materials.